Well, we talked about uh, yesterday um, about the fact that whoever played with more energy was going to win the game. Uh, it was really that simple, and so it was really the well, the theme of the game. It was the message of the game of um, play with a lot of energy and, and play with with the most energy um, that we've played with, and that our team came out and, and they did that. Um, everybody did their job. Everybody executed their role. Um, you know, and we had obviously had some great individual performances, uh, but I loved how our team played together. Loved how hard they played. Um, and now we just now we just need to keep it going. On Friday night, you sat here and you know, it was such a disappointing performance for you guys. And you know the the players talk about the lack of passion that they had. Then they come out in complete reversal today. Yeah. Um, what was said between Friday night and today to change that? Oh, I think it, it, we, we talked a lot about what is our purpose. Um, it, it, you know, I thought Friday's game was the first time where it looked like we were playing without a purpose. We didn't know what we were playing for. And if you don't know what you're playing for, then you don't have any energy. You don't have that passion. Um, so we refocused on what our, what our mission is and what we're trying to get accomplished and that there's still time. And, um, you know, so that allowed us to refocus. And it really just goes to show you, you know, when you when you when you have a mission, when you're playing with that, you know, today it was we're playing for our fans, we're playing for Jamie Swan, uh, we're playing to, to continue to reach our potential, um, just how powerful that is. And um, you just got to harness that and, and have that same mentality every time you take the floor. It's certainly not surprising that Jamie came out energized today, but uh, with Kennedy, uh, that was probably the best I've seen him play all year. Can you talk about her performance today? Yeah, I thought, um, you know, Kennedy had great composure. She made great decisions. Um, you know, she's, uh, she's been up and down as the season has gone along, but um, we know that she's, she's a great player um, and we know what she can do. And, um, you know, I thought she played with a lot of confidence. She was so focused today. She was engaged. Um, she really was connected with her teammates and uh, finding them every time there was an opening. And, you know, she, she doesn't, you know, she didn't necessarily look to score. She just took scoring opportunities uh, when they were there. And, and I think that sh it shows by her 13 assists as well. You know, you look at all the, the, all the plays that she was a part of, there were a lot of them in, in the course of the game. And um, I thought she also played outstanding defense. Um, you know, obviously Inigwe is a fantastic player, and one of her jobs was also to help try to keep the ball out of her hands. And thought she did a pretty good job with that uh, as well at times. But overall, great floor game by a point guard, freshman point guard, um, who's really starting to grow up and mature and um, just uh, just fun to watch. You talk about Jamie. You know, I think that the team seemed to be inspired by playing for her, and she had a great game as well. Yeah, you know, that's, that's you know, Jamie's second great game in a row. And, um, you know, just her – you know, we, 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 her and I talked about her being on a mission uh, here towards the end of the season and really stepping up and um, playing, playing like a senior that, that wants to still accomplish something. And, um, you know, she, she's playing with a lot of energy, a lot of heart, a lot of passion, um, but she's also very focused. She's under control. She's playing hard but under control. That's a great combination for her. Um, you know, she's playing with a great amount of strength. She's doing a nice job. You know, was, we talked about her getting a double-double every game, you know, and, and how that's always a tough feat, but it's possible for Jamie. And, um, you know, I thought we needed her on the glass. When she was out of the game today, we had a tough time getting rebounds. And, uh, you know, so she, she did a nice job of, of rebounding, scoring, passing, you know, really just played an all-around great game. Did it appear to you that uh... – Big way got a little tired in the second quarter or thereafter, or thereafter, or was it you guys just focusing more on her defense? Well, we changed our scheme a little bit, um, you know, where we – I didn't in, – in the first quarter, I didn't think we were helping off enough um, with the other players on the floor. Um, she was our number one, number two, number three defensive key, and, and so we knew the ball was going to go in there a lot. Um, wow, well, she's, a, she's a fantastic player. Uh, she might be the best post player you know, low block player in, in the league as a freshman. So, um, you know, she's, she's hard, to, to hard to keep out of there. But I, th I think we did wear her down. Uh, you know, she's got to play a lot of minutes for them with their, with their short bench. And, you know, between Jamie going in there and Corey going in there and Bree going in for a few minutes and, um, and then all of our guards helping out and getting deflections and 
you know, we, we wanted to try to make her life really, really hard. And she had to work to get her 30. Um, and, and it really was a huge part of the game.